every smart draw diagram has its own specialized smart panel docked over here to the left of the workspace. These put automated drawing tools and symbols specific to that kind of visual right at your fingertips. Most of the real estate of the UI is right here in the workspace. Here, you can drag and drop symbols from the smart panel. When you're building diagrams like flowcharts, org charts, mind maps, and network and software diagrams, the shapes will have yellow quick add controls around them. If you see yellow arrows, you can use these to add shapes in any direction, and everything is automatically connected, aligned, and evenly spaced. If you see yellow circles, you can click them to choose shapes from the pop-up options that appear, and those shapes will be added, automatically spaced and aligned. Or you can drag a line from the circle to wherever you want it to go, and then choose a shape to place it. Once added, you can move these shapes around and easily align them. Add or remove shapes, and the lines heal, and the chart reformats. You can also press Ctrl and an arrow key on your keyboard to add shapes that way. This will automatically use the shape style that you most recently used. To add text, just type with a shape or line selected. You can convert any flowchart to a swim lane diagram by adding a pool with swim lanes. You can even change the orientation of your lanes on the fly without having to start over. The swim lanes automatically expand to make room for shapes as you add them. You can choose from vertical or horizontal swim lanes, or a grid layout. If you selected a horizontal swim lane, the lanes will automatically expand horizontally to make room for additional steps. Likewise, if you're using vertical swim lanes. Frames allow you to group shapes and diagrams in your workspace. You can add a frame to any grouping of shapes by selecting the shape or the diagram you want to include and choose Add Frame from the right-click menu. If a shape is attached to other shapes via connectors like a flowchart, org chart, or mind map, you don't have to select every shape to create a frame around them. SmartDraw is smart enough to understand which shapes are connected, and the frame will be added around everything related to that shape. Frames are designed to contain whole diagrams and let you easily move them around and slide over each other on the page. This allows multiple diagrams per page in an elegant way. Frames grow automatically as the diagram inside grows. If you right-click on a frame, you'll find frame options that let you customize the frame's behavior. In the Symbol Library, you can find various container styles that you can add to your workspace to group objects. Containers are a type of frame with different properties. Unlike frames, they can be inside other containers and frames, so you can make subgroups of shapes. And unlike frames, they do not grow automatically. Each SmartDraw template comes with the most commonly used symbols needed to create that specific diagram or whiteboard docked to the left of the workspace. You can easily search for additional symbols to find what you need. Click on this Search for Symbols box in the Smart Panel and type any keyword to search. The search results will be grouped by the libraries they were found in. This creates a results view of your search query in the Symbols tab. This view will contain the results for the latest search string until you click the X in the search box. To pin the symbols that matched your search to your library, click on the plus symbol next to the library's name and select Add Result. You can also pin that entire library by selecting Add Library. Any result you pin will appear in the list of libraries in the Symbols section of the Smart Panel. You can scroll through them or use these small black arrows to the left of the name to expand and collapse any library. Click the X to unpin the library from the Smart Panel. You can drag libraries up and down the stack to reorder them. Clicking on this More button next to the Symbol search box will open up the entire Symbol library, which you can then browse through and add symbols as you please.